friends, you're again with a lonesome gamer and I'm playing Last Night on Earth. Um, before I start this video, um, there was a post that uh, my videos are not bright enough, that there is not enough light here in this room. And uh, to be honest, I thought it was it was enough. I thought it's. I mean, I know it's this kind of yellow light, and it's not. Yeah, it's not really bright, but I think it's a little cozy. Um, but if you have really problems with it, and if it's too dark for you, then uh, please post me. Please, please tell me what you think about that, because it's important. I mean, I make these things uh, also for you, um, a little bit for me too, to be honest. But uh, it's good to know that, that you see what happens. Okay, so um, let me see. Yeah, the situation is now that uh, we have found two explosives. And uh, in the end we have to find three. And then we have to blow three of the spawning pits up. Uh, First now Becky, she will try to blow this pit up and uh, Jade is going to try to blow that one up. So let's see, uh, first it's the zombie turn and uh, yeah okay, so turn marker moves on, we are now at 11 and the zombie already has one card. I feel kind of strange. So he will keep that card because he's got a... And uh, then he's just allowed to draw one additional card because there is this um, hand limit of two. And that says, Tired of the Dead. And it's a sacrifice card. The zombie players must discard a total of two cards from hand. All zombies may move two spaces this turn. Zombie heroes may move d6 spaces instead of their normal move. Okay, so basically that means he must discard his whole hand and then he may move two spaces instead of one. And I think, I think that's a good idea actually. I think I'm going to do that. So, uh, yeah, I play this card, Tide of the Dead, and I discard the other one. And then I can roll to spawn new zombies. Let me see, there are three, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve. So there will be no more zombies. And now I can move the zombies. And, well, now there are going to be some fights. They can all move to two spaces. So this one will move here. They both will move here. And, uh, well, this is the explosive zombie. So he will move here. And then... Well, this guy, that's interesting because there is still this problem. There is still the problem if um, if there are more zombies on the space, then the hero gets stronger. So it's uh, it might be a disadvantage if he also moves here, but on the other hand, if this explosive zombie gets killed, the hero also might get killed. So it could be actually, a, in this way, an advantage. And then we move this guy here. And uh, 
That one moves here to the closest hero. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And they move here. They all go for her. And they can actually move right here. And that one moves also here. So she's really under pressure now. Okay, so that was a pretty tough card. And now we have to fight. So this could be an interesting turn now. So first let's do this fight here. And uh, well, I roll. If the zombies are allowed to draw an extra card, on a 6 there would have been, but this time no. So now one die for the hero player, uh, for the zombie, two dice for the heroes. And that's a tie. So, zombies win, and Victor, he takes an extra wound. Uh, not an extra wound, but he takes another wound, so he only has, he can only take one more wound now. And uh, then we can do these two fights here. And again I roll for this extra card. Oh, I forgot to move this zombie here. And that one will go here. And then I roll for the extra cards, and again, no six. It's funny, until now, the zombie player was never allowed to draw an extra card. He never rolled a six. Okay, and uh, let's see now. She is pretty strong. She's got plus one fight die here, and another plus one here. So she's got four. While the zombie have only one. Oh! <laughs> and again, it's a tie. Zombie rolled a six now. So, yeah, it's a tie. And it's another wound for Raquel, but she can try the intuition ability on a six. Ah, that's a four. So. She also must take another wound. That could be a terrible turn, but we'll see. And now it's the it's the second zombie here. Oh, I forgot actually. There is this guy. So uh, the, the with the stench of the de of death. So she has to put one of her dice aside. And, you don't believe this, again, it's a victory for the zombies. My god, that was terrible. Now I have to do something. Maybe I can, I think I got this card, yeah. I was lucky here. Play when a hero is about to take a wound, prevent that wound. So, I gotta play this card now. Otherwise, she would have been killed. But before I do so, I can roll for the intuition. Maybe she doesn't take it. Yeah, that's a one. So, I definitely have to play just a scratch. Okay. <clears throat> huh. So... And then, we got this here. And first, I'm gonna fight the normal zombie, not the one with the, not the explosive one. And I got this hedge trimmer now, and I can... So I gain two extra dice. So I got now four dice, while the zombies have one. 
but I and that's a five for the zombie player, so no special card. Okay, so these are doubles, and the zombie player has just a one. So this guy is killed. And then it's this explosive player, uh, explosive zombie. And now it's three dice against one. Oh, that's a six, a five, and a one. He wins on ties. So, uh, because he's tough, he wins fight on dice. So he fanned off the zombie. Okay, actually I forgot that this guy is in the cornfield. So I had to roll if he can fight. But, uh, well, he didn't take a wound anyway, so I think it's not that important. Okay, and then we got this fight here and this is gonna be tough there is one zombie with a grave weapon two normal zombies and I think that's a good time to play this card here let's rock play on any hero that hero now rolls an extra fight dice and any time they would take a wound roll a d6 on the roll of five or six prevent that wound discard this card if the hero searches so, okay, I'm going to place this card here, and let's hope for the best. So there are three fights, so I roll three dice, and again, it's no six, I'm really lucky here. And... Uh, well, then let's do the fighting. I have an extra fight dice because of this card. Let's rock. And so I got three dice while the zombie already only has one. First I fight the normal zombies. Oh my god. That's a five for the zombie. And I also have a five. So zombies win. But I can roll, and on the roll of five or six, prevent that wound. That's a two. So that wasn't good enough. I have to take that wound. Okay, that's bad. And then it's the second fight. The second normal zombie. Let's see. And again, you don't believe this. Oh my god. So that's a four. It's again a tie. So I roll if I have to take the wound. Yes, again a two. Well, this is really bad. So I place that here now because if I place it here, I'm dead. And now, it's not going to be more easy, because now it's this guy with the pitchfork. Let's see what is it with him. Uh, okay, it's this guy here. And it says, any hero fighting the zombie rolls one less fight dice than normal. Okay, so now I have again two fight dice against one. Okay, that this time it was good. I fended the guy with the pitchfork off. And now I can use this axe here and uh, if the zombie is fended off, roll a d6. On 4 to 6, the zombie is killed. So that's good. That's definitely good. I killed this guy. 
That was pretty important. Okay. So, let me see. Yeah. Okay, that was the zombie turn. And at the end of a zombie turn, I have to roll if this guy explodes. Uh, so, let's see. Now that's a two. So he doesn't. On a six, he would have ex he would have exploded. Yeah, but it doesn't happen. Okay. And now it's the hero's turn. Okay, at the start of the hero turn, I will play this card here at last. And it says, play at the start of a hero turn to cancel any zombie card that is marked remains in play. So, and now I'm going to discard this one here, Haunted by the Past. Okay, so that card goes away and it, the, uh, the card prevented me from playing Townsfolk events on Becky. So now I can do it. And now I'm going to play this card here, Doc Brody, Country Physician. Fully heal any hero. If played on Becky, shuffle this card back into the hero card deck. So now I'm going to do that. I'm going to play this card on Becky. And then she can fully heal. So I think that was a good idea. And then Becky moves. And she moves here on that spawning point because she will try to destroy that here with the gasoline. Let me see, a hero must start in the space, give up that turn and discard an explosive. Okay. So, yeah, I now move there. And then I can shoot with the revolver. So I shoot at one of these zombies and I need a four to hit. And that's a five. Very good. It was pretty important. So now another zombie is killed. Huh. Then I'm going to take. Yeah, I'm gonna roll now for Johnny. Now that's a three. And because I'm outside, I assume the cornfield uh, is also outside. I only have a two, so that's not so good. And uh, to be honest, I wonder if it makes sense to go here at all. I mean, she is in a quite quite a good condition now. She's got Let's Rock. She's got an axe. She's got a revolver. And she's now got four hit points. So, so I think it's not necessary for him to help her. But he could go now here to the hospital and try to get rid of this card. I've got to get to the... So that would allow him then to search again. Because remember, because of this card, he's not allowed to search until he gets into this hospital. And he... And the hero moves into a space of that building. Yeah. So, uh, I got a two now, so I simply move here and then here. So that was my action. Wait a minute. I'm wondering... I think it's okay. 
I think I can do this. Okay, and then uh, it's Jade. It would be good if she rolls high because then she could go into the freezer over there. Let's see. Oh gosh, that's a one. And well, because of the heavy rain, you have to subtract one but to a minimum of one. So in this case, she can still move here. <clears throat> but of course, that was a pretty bad pretty bad move. Okay. And she doesn't have a, a weapon, so she can't shoot any zombie. <clears throat> and then it's Victor. Uh, let's see what he can do. So he's got a five. And he could actually go to Jade, but... The end of the hero turn. Yeah, that's a possibility. He could move to her, and then... At the end of the turn, if they're in the same space, Jade could heal him because she's got Doc Brody's medical bag. So that's possible. He moves here. They share the same space now. And in addition to this, Jade would get an additional fight die because of this rebellious uh, ability that gives her uh, one more die when she's in, a, uh, in the same space with another strange hero and Victor is definitely strange okay then it's Raquel she's the last one of my heroes Oh my god, and she's also badly wounded. Let me see what I can do for her. Now that's a four. Well, she might also go there, but we can only heal one person, actually. Oh. Ah. Oh my god, that's really hard. Still, I think I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna enter here. One, two, three, and a four. So I move here, and that allows me to shoot at this guy. So now I'm gonna try to kill that guy. It's, uh, I've got a range of three with my revolver. So I shoot and uh, it's a hit because I got laying down the law which gives me plus one so that's a hit that zombie is killed that was good okay and well these that was basically the hero turn and now at the end of the hero turn, Jade can heal Victor and may heal one wound from another hero. Okay. That's a little better now. And let's see, it's the zombies again. We move the soundtrack first. Draw new zombie cards. Well, that says bickering. Play this card at the start of the hero turn on any space with more than one hero in it. All characters in that space lose their hero turn, may not do anything at all, they do not need to fight zombies there. So I already know who gets this card actually. 
and the second one is Shamble. Play this card to move a zombie d6 spaces instead of its normal move. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Um, I'm not absolutely sure which zombie that might be. I mean, she is, of course, an interesting target. But it's one, two, three, four. Well, there's a 50 50 chance that I could reach her. So I might actually try to get to her. On the other hand, there is Raquel. If she takes another wound, she's killed. So I can also one, two, or one, two, three. So there's actually a better chance to get to her. But she's pretty hard to fight. I mean, she's got that laying down the law and this one. It's really hard to tell. I'm not sure. It's a tough decision. I think I'm going to really go after Raquel. I mean, she has now four wounds, uh, or she can take four four hits, and she's got that Let's Rock. So actually, she, she's pretty strong. It's not very likely that she will be killed. But Raquel is really in danger, especially because this guy can move here with his stench of the death, and then she loses one die. So, uh, yeah, I think that's something we can try. So I'm going to take... That's one, two, three, one... I'm, I'm going to take this guy here and roll for him. Oh, let's take a red die. Okay, that's a one. So... It was all not worth it. And then, um, yeah, then all the others move. First I got to roll to spawn new zombies. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that correct? Yeah, there are just nine zombies on the board. So if I roll a ten... The new zombies. That's a seven. Okay. So now let's see. First, they will move here. This one moves here. They move here. Well, on the other hand, I'm not so sure about that actually. That one is one, two, three. This is the closest hero. So actually, he moves back here. And they move here. Ah, it's a tough decision. Do I really want to do that? I mean, according to the solo rules, this would be the idea. On the other hand, he is so terribly strong. Does it make sense to do that? Well, I think it's a better idea if at least this guy here moves here. Because he affects all heroes in a radius of two. So that's a pretty important thing. And these two, they can go after him. I think that's, that's okay. That's a good compromise. And then this guy will go here. And that one will move here. And that one moves here. Okay. So that's it. We're done with the zombie movement. And 
yeah, that's the end. No, we have to fight the heroes here, actually. So she has one additional fight dice. So it's three. And again, it's a five. They always have a five, but no, no six. We're really lucky here. So the zombie has one. And she has three dice. And you're kidding, three times a one. And the zombie has a three. So that is definitely a wound for Becky. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And then it's, uh, well, that's, that was the fighting. And then we have to r roll if this guy explodes. On a six, he will. And that was a two. Nope. Okay, and now it's the hero's turn, and, well, let's see. Well, first of all, she simply stays here. She tries to destroy that pit. Hero must start in the space, give up their turn, and discard an explosive. So she discards the gasoline. That's an explosive item. And she can't do anything further. Then it's Raquel. Well, first let's 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 move Jade actually. And she's got a six because she's outside. It's only a five, but I think it's still okay. It's one, two, three, four. So she can now, or in the next turn, try to uh, destroy this spawning pit and then let's roll for uh, let's roll for Raquel and ah, that's a one so that isn't too good but she moves here Well, I think, I'm thinking, she might also search. I think that's what she does. The one is bad. She's, she searches. I think that's better. And that says recovery. Play on any hero except during a fight to heal one wound from them. Well, that was good. I can place that right away on her. So she can heal and I think it was a good decision to search here. Very good. And then it's Victor. He's standing there and he's got a six. So he now also enters here the freezer. And the last one is Johnny. He's got a five. And, well, let me see. One, two, three. Well, he's got a four, by the way, not a five. And I have to subtract one. So it's just a three. Which doesn't make it easier. Ah, that's bad. Okay, so I think it's one two, three. So he can, he can try to go here. So that not all the zombies can reach him, but on the other hand, ah, it's really dangerous. That's a bad roll. Ah. 
definitely not sure what to do. Okay, well actually, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move here. One, two, three. Oh, that's not possible, by the way. It's one, two, and I have to... Ah. I can't move there because I have to enter here straight. So I think I'm going to risk it. I'm, I'm going to attack these guys. I got this Blitz ability here. And that says... Um, when entering a space with a zombie, may immediately fight the zombie and continue moving. So that's what I'm going to do now. <clears throat> so let's roll if the zombies are allowed to draw extra cards. This is for the one with the Zickle. And of course, this time it's a six. That's bad because he is already better. He can roll one less fight dice than normal. And then, or actually I have to roll one less fight dice than normal, and then he's got this one, Scratch and Claw. And you can see here, that's a fight event. Play this card to let a zombie roll an extra fight dice for each zombie in its space, including itself. Well, this is really bad. This is terribly dangerous now. Okay, so he can take two additional fight dice, Johnny. So that would give him, well, actually, it's not so dangerous. I mean, he wins on tie, and that's important. So that gives him four fight dice, normally. But then he has to take one less fight dice because of, well, not, that's not true. That would be the pitchfork. Yeah, I forgot, I, I'm, I mixed this up. The zickle is something different. Just let me check this. This is the guy with the zickle. The zombie rolls an extra fight dice. In addition, once per fight, the zombie may force the hero to re-roll one of their fight dice. This is bad. Okay, <clears throat> maybe I was a little too optimistic here. Let's see. <clears throat> so, the thing is now, Johnny is allowed to roll three dice. And the other one is allowed to roll one, his, his standard dice, an extra fight dice because of his zickle, and then two more dice because of scratch and glow. Oh my god. So, now... <clears throat> it's three dice for Johnny and just four for the other. Um, but I can use this card here. T-Bone Football Jock. Ha! Huh. Okay. I play this card. And that says, play on any student hero until the end of the turn. The hero wins on ties and roll two extra fight dice or three extra fight dice if Johnny. So let's see who's... Who's Mr. Nice Guy here? Now I've got six dice while the other has four. Okay, let's do this. Okay, well, that's okay, I guess. It's a six. And, uh, well, he wins on tie. So, he definitely wins this fight. Okay, I just realized that Johnny was actually allowed to roll one additional fight die because he basically he would roll two dice. 
then these two additional dice because of the hedge trimmer, and then three more dice because of T-bone. So now he can roll, and he rolled six dice, so he can roll another die. And that's a two. Um, he had a six, one six, that was his best result. And now the other guy with a sickle can force Johnny um, to re-roll that six. So let's see what that is. And that's again a six. So in this case he really did it, but he didn't kill the zombie. Uh, let me see, until the end of the turn is this. That's a pretty strong card then. And now it's the second zombie. It's got to fight him too and we roll again so no special card this time for him. And uh, Johnny is now allowed again to take seven dice and the zombie is just allowed to take one. Okay, that wasn't a problem. Um, I could actually roll one additional die. I only have three here, but no, there is another one. Okay, so I got here four times a four. So actually, this zombie here is killed. So that was the first... Uh, I rolled a, th a 4 and it's just a 3. Uh, my movement roll, so now I can move on. And I have 2 more, so that would be 1, 2. Okay. I could move on because I used this Blitz ability here. Okay, and now this card goes away. And, uh, well, yeah, that's... I think, actually, now that was the hero turn. Yes, we did it. Uh, and... Just let me see. Did she fight that zombie? I'm not so sure about that, to be honest. I don't know. Well, I think she didn't fight the zombie, so she has to do that right now. And... Uh, She's got that Let's Rock, so that gives her an extra fight dice. Um, so she's got three dice, while the zombie has one. And the zombie rolls, and he's got a six. So he also can draw a special zombie card, and that's his Brains. Play this card to add plus one to a zombie's highest fight dice roll. Okay, let's see, that's plus one, so she got three, the zombie got one. Okay, it's not necessary to add one actually. Again, she took a wound. Do I have a good card here? No, not anymore. So, uh, but I can, I can roll and on a 5 or 6 I could prevent that wound. Oh, and it worked this time. Very good. And, uh, yeah. But I think the zombie is not finished off. He didn't win, she didn't win the fight. So, 
That was the hero's turn, and then I think this uh, I think the zom the spawning pit is destroyed. Must survive any zombie fates in the fate before the pit is destroyed. Well, I think that's it. Okay, so I think that pit was destroyed now. So I simply place a again one of these markers here, just to show that there is no more pit here. So now I need to destroy two more pits, and I have a good a chance to to destroy here the second one. So uh, I need to find one more explosive and basically it to destroy one other pit. I think it should be possible to destroy that one. But I nearly forgot it's the end of the hero turn. So now Jade can heal uh, Victor. So he's now back at full health, which is good. Okay, um, so I think the heroes are definitely making progresses. It was actually a little close. Uh, I was lucky that I had some some healing cards. Uh, otherwise, there might have been some some more dead bodies now uh, here in that village, but. Uh, well, I managed to, to stay alive, and uh, let's see how the next turns go. Until then, bye.